Curious why Africa, known for its incredible wildlife, doesn't have bears? Explore the surprising reasons behind the absence of these majestic creatures on this diverse continent. There are eight species of bears alive today. The American black bear, Asiatic black bear, brown bear, giant panda, polar bear, sloth bear, Andean spectacled bear, and sun bear. They are found globally, except in Africa. The largest bears, polar bears and Kodiak bears, a type of brown bear, weigh up to 1,200 pounds and stand 10 feet tall on their hind legs. In contrast, the smallest bear, the sun bear from Southeast Asia, weighs less than 145 pounds and reaches up to four feet in length. Most bears are omnivorous, eating vegetation, fruit, berries, small mammals, birds, reptiles, and some invertebrates. Polar bears and giant pandas are exceptions. Despite Africa having abundant vegetation and prey, no bears live there today. However, bears once existed in Africa. The Atlas bear, resembling the American black bear, lived in North Africa until the late 1800s. The Roman Empire hunted them for sport and use in gladiator arenas, leading to their extinction. Fossil records show two other bear species in Africa, Agriotherium and Indarctos. These large bears became extinct during the Pleistocene, likely due to climate change and competition from other predators. Except for Australia, bears adapt to most continents. Australia's unique wildlife developed after it split from Gondwana 250 million years ago. Africa remains attached to Asia, but no bears live there. Polar bears evolved from brown bears 200,000 years ago and spread north. Brown and black bears spread across Europe and Asia, entering North America via the Bering Land Bridge, then moving south and evolving into the Andean bear. The Atlas bear lived in North Africa but never spread south, possibly due to the Sahara Desert acting as a barrier. Fossils of Agriotherium have been found in Sub-Saharan Africa, but competition likely led to their extinction. Today's bears are highly adaptable. Grizzly bears, for example, eat a variety of foods and can adjust their diet based on their environment. Spectacled bears live in diverse habitats, and Asiatic black bears and sun bears coexist due to plentiful food sources. Prehistoric bears may have lacked such adaptability, making them unsuitable for survival in Africa. Bears originated in Europe and adapted to colder climates. They grew larger to help them hunt and protect themselves from predators and to build up fat reserves for winter. However, these adaptations might not have suited Africa's hotter climate. Polar bears, for instance, overheat easily and move with a slow, awkward walk. They prefer surprising prey rather than chasing it long distances. Similarly, black bears and grizzly bears are sensitive to heat. Pregnant black bears and grizzlies have been observed taking cold baths in pools to cool off. They also lose heat through their paws, which have many blood vessels. They often lie on their backs with their paws in the air to help release heat. As global temperatures rise, these behaviors may help bears cope with the changing climate. Bears that originated in Europe were adapted to the northern hemisphere's cold, but the Andean spectacled bear, found in South America's hot jungles and mountains, has adjusted well to its environment. The Andean bear is much smaller than other bear species, which means it produces less heat and experiences less heat stress. It is also a skilled climber, often climbing to the tops of trees to escape the heat below. During the wet season, they stand in the rain to cool off and enjoy dipping into water to regulate their body temperature. In contrast, two extinct bear species from Sub-Saharan Africa, Agriotherium and Arctotus, were enormous and might have struggled with the heat. Fossils show these bears were much larger than today's bears. They may have been scavengers rather than hunters, as their skull and teeth structures suggest they were not built to catch prey. Analysis of their bones reveals they consumed a wide range of animal species, typical of scavengers. Their size might have helped them scare away other animals from remains. Modern brown bears often wait for wolves to kill prey, then scare them away to feed on the remains. These giant bears likely needed extra nutrients from hunting and consuming bone marrow, 
which their jaws could crunch. However, with the arrival of hyenas, which are better adapted to hot climates and can hunt in packs, competition for food increased. This fierce competition and the hot climate may have led to the extinction of Agriotherium and Arctodus in Africa. The Atlas bear, the only bear that lived solely in Africa, was hunted to extinction. Preserving current bear species is crucial because once they are gone, they are gone forever. That's all for this video.